From the front page of the Ankara Statesman, September 2nd, 1916. Headline, Senate to vote on eight-hour day bill. Not later than six o'clock this evening, the Senate will vote on the Adamson eight-hour day bill passed yesterday by the House to effect a calling off the railway strike. Strong belief prevailed that it would be passed without amendment and sent immediately to President Wilson for his signature. Heads of the four brotherhoods, anticipating such action, had code messages to local union officials ready, reworking the order sent broadcast early this week for a strike starting at 7 a.m. Monday. If the bill is passed, it is believed they will not wait until it is signed by President Wilson, who was at Long Branch, New Jersey, to receive formal notification of his nomination for president. Before leaving yesterday for Shadowlawn, New Jersey, President Wilson signed more than 1,000 bills, commissions, and pardons, and executive papers, which had accumulated during the last three weeks while he was devoting his attention to the threatened railway strike. Headline, Wilson Accepts Nomination. President Wilson formally accepted his renomination in Long Branch, New Jersey this afternoon with an address recounting the legislative record of the Democratic Party, a vigorous defense of his Mexican policy, his dealings with European belligerents, and an outline of his view of America's obligations for the future. With the members of the Notification Committee grouped around him at Shadow Lawn, the Summer White House, the President declared the Republican Party was, quote, just the party that cannot meet the new conditions of a new age, and that the day of little Americanism, when methods of protection and industrial nursing were the chief study of our provincial statesmen, was past and gone. We can no longer indulge our traditional provincialism, said the President. We are to play a leading part in the world drama, whether we wish to or not. We shall lend, not borrow, act for ourselves, not imitate or follow, organize and initiate, not peep about merely to see where we may get in, unquote. Headline, Russian Advance in East Galicia. The abandonment of Hermannstadt, 15 miles from the border, announced in an Austrian communication, indicates a new Russian offensive in Bukowina and eastern Galicia over a wide front. The Greek situation is still uncertain. The report that the king had abdicated and that Greece was about to join the Entente is not borne out. Information received in Rome indicates the Greek revolution is spreading. Martial law has been proclaimed in Athens, Piraeus, and other cities. Headline, Dash from Trench and How It Fields, One Inspiration of the War. It used to be said that trench warfare had a tendency to destroy a soldier's keenness in attack. Nobody who talks with the wounded can think it has this effect on the new army. Officers and men all speak with excitement and delight of going over. That is the universal phrase. One officer put it, quote, Going over means to us the dash into open air and freedom after the tedious camping life of the trenches. We had been shut up behind the bars of our trench all these months, and now we were free. There was no need to urge the men on when they were climbing on and up. They were wild to get out. It was as though the war had become sleepy and it was time something was done to it. Unquote. The excitement becomes a kind of passion, he explained, and there was a tremendous keenness among the men for the job. Some soldiers want to be always at it. The fun of the whole thing is to look on the faces of the Germans when they get to their trenches. And that's the news from Yonkers 100 years ago today.